Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Got to sleep in today. It's like almost 11 o'clock. And I'm going to show you how lazy I am right now. So my remote for my TV fell off my bed. And I was too lazy to roll over and get it. So I just grabbed my laptop, which is sitting right on my dresser right there. I grabbed my laptop and started watching <laughs> YouTube on my laptop. So this is how I'm watching YouTube right now because I was too lazy to pick up my remote which fell on the floor down there. It is almost noon and I'm still in bed. I need to get my life together. Get up, take a shower, and I don't even think I left my room today yet. Let me get up, take a shower, and get my day started. I slept all the morning away because it's noon, so yeah, I was just tired. My body just needed to rest. I feel better, but I'm recovering still, if you want to call it that, from not feeling well, so. All right, shower, get dressed, and start the day. So I just got out the shower, somewhat got my life together, <laughs> um, and I'm about to have breakfast, even though it's definitely lunchtime. It's afternoons, almost 12.45, so gonna eat some cereal and find something to watch on Netflix um, today, you guys. So we had two ladies at the church who give them birth three days apart from each other. So what we do when someone's in a hospital or in cases like that, you know, we take turns bringing them dinner because so they won't have to cook for about a week, maybe a week and a half to go take the family dinner. So tonight is my turn. So I'm actually gonna go pick her up dinner later and drop it off, but I'm not gonna go in because I wasn't feeling well earlier this week and I still don't feel all that great. I'm better, but I don't know, I just, don't want to get the baby sick just in case you never know she's only one week old so i will let savannah handle the food and bring it in that way i won't have to touch it at all or anything like that so yeah i'm gonna do that later and that's about it if it wasn't for that you guys i would have shouted around all day long yeah pretty much a bum today but yeah so i am actually gonna watch this movie on netflix called the captive i feel like i've seen it before and if I have, I will just watch The Office. I've been watching The Office lately, you guys. Oh my goodness, it is so hilarious. I don't know why I didn't give that show a chance before. I think maybe the first few, few episodes I thought was boring or whatever, but it's hilarious. And yeah, I'm totally hooked. And that's what I've been watching lately. So if this movie, if I've seen it before, if it's boring, then I'll watch The Office. So that's all I'm doing today, you guys. Nothing much at all. All right, so it's much later and I'm actually about to leave in maybe an hour to go grab some food and drop it off to the church member that I was telling you guys about earlier. But, so I don't know if you guys know this, but next year, 2019, will be the last season of Orange is the New Black. And I knew it was coming, but I was reading in some of the comments, people mentioned something about... It's not better than Wentworth and Wentworth this and, you know, almost every other comment was about, you know, you should try Wentworth or whatever. So it's on Netflix and it's actually about a lady who was in prison for killing her husband or attempting to kill her husband. I don't know, but I'm on a second episode and I'm completely hooked. Um, it's kind of like Orange is the New Black, but without all the comedy this is a lot of drama and whatever. And so, yeah, if you guys, I don't really like prison shows, so I don't really watch stuff like that other than Orange is the New Black. If you guys do try it, let me know what you think. She changed her hair, kinda. So we are in the drive-through for Panda Express. Yes, our Panda Express has a drive-through. We're getting that, um, the church family, their meal for tonight so I just got the family um, feast for them I don't know what they like so hopefully they enjoy this and they have a bunch of drinks so we are not getting them anything to drink oh I found like a picture of the first time oh okay she takes like a million selfies to get. Well, maybe I, not maybe even like one maybe I can get a better one <laughs> 56 is your I'm sure this is a lot of food. $33 or $35 for Panda Express. Did you get the family thing? Yeah, the family feast. You didn't hear me order it? I heard something about broccoli beef. He wasn't paying attention, were you? 
I was trying to find another song. Oh, okay. I'm curious to see how much, how big this bag is gonna be. Two. You told me this the time. You wanna put it in the bag? No, it's gonna be hot. Okay. Grab it's it. very heavy. Okay. Put it down there. All right. Let's go. So we are back home, and Savannah and I stopped to Pho Dynasty to get some um, noodle soup, and I'll show you guys. I always get number 29 when I get their soup, which is egg noodles, um, shrimp, carrots, fish, chicken, cilantro, fish, did I say that? And I'll just show you guys what it looks like. It's so yummy. So this is it, and I got it with egg noodles, and there's the carrots, and um, I'm trying to do this with my left hand and not I'm not a lefty so all of my vegetables are at the bottom when they give it to you they put the soup and the meat and the broth and then the noodles and uh, most of the vegetables are separate so yeah that is my dinner Savannah got the same thing Shine is at work and so is Tyreek I just wanted to show you guys Cheyenne came home today and she told me, stay in your room. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do it. What are you talking about? And I said, she said, stay in your room. And I was messing with her and I had no plans on getting up. So she comes into my room and she gives me these. She got me flowers, you guys, just because. Who does that? I love her so the much. The best daughter, AKA me. Okay, so I'm just in my room watching more episodes, episodes episodes of Wentworth guys I'm so obsessed with this show it's like the only thing I could think about when I come home I just want to watch it it has a lot of drama it is just I really like it so yeah that's my new obsession and I don't know if you guys know this about me or if you can tell this about me but when I really get into something I like really really get into it like overly so and then if it bores me then I'll just drop it like what was what show was I really into? Um, oh my goodness, um, Empire. I loved Empire when it came out. I was always watching and I don't know, it just got weird and I just stopped and it was just like, I was done. And even like with Ray Dunn, I still like Ray Dunn, but if I see something, I'll get it, but I don't go hunting like I used to do before, like when the store's open and just trying to go all over finding certain items. I don't do that anymore because it's like, I got what I want now, so it's like, meh. So yeah, I have one of them obsessive whatever personalities, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't this look creepy, like something out of a scary movie? I hate this backup camera when I leave the house in the mornings because it looks very creepy. It's actually Friday afternoon now. Um, I got off work a little while ago and I only worked a half a day today and I'm just sitting outside of Savannah school waiting for her to get out. I came a little bit early because I'm exhausted and if I go home I'm going to fall asleep and I know she could walk home but have to do some running around so I'm really cool in the mornings like cold where I'll need a sweater when I leave for work or a jacket. But then right now it's like 85 degrees so it's hot but it's supposed to start cooling off permanently next week so we'll see at California weather you never know it can be December and we'll have a 75 or 80 degree day drinking a Calypso paradise punch lemonade it tastes just like Hawaiian punch is really good actually and I had half of a sandwich from Beach Hut Deli I am so ready for the cold weather you guys I am tired of this heat it hasn't been really hot it's just I'm ready to wear boots and scarves and all the other stuff that go along with that and then in two months I'm gonna be sick of winter so that's just the story of my life good Saturday afternoon I guess it's Saturday afternoon and I'm still in bed but it's early afternoon it's like 12 30 um, I went to bed late last night my fault but I stayed up late watching Wentworth because you guys know I'm crazy over this I'm obsessed actually over this show um, so yeah, that's what I have been watching. I fell asleep watching it and then I woke up pretty late. I have not even eaten breakfast yet. I have not had my coffee. I haven't did anything except wash my face and brush my teeth. And that's about it. I'm about to get my day started. So not much going on today. There is another lady that had a baby in our church. She had a boy and I think he's a week old now, I think. 
almost two weeks, something like that. Anyway, it is my turn today to go take them a meal and I don't know what I'm taking them. So I will find out. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. What are you doing, Cheyenne? Cleaning off my sucker. Why? Because you dropped it. Whose sucker was it in the beginning? Not yours. It was mine. Well. And I opened it and she put her mouth on it and it dropped in the car. And then she rinsed it off and kept it. That was my sucker. You rinse my hands. We are leaving Wells Fargo. I just paid my mortgage. And they gave me a sucker and Savannah and Shine stayed in the car. And like I said, she stole my sucker. Oh, she just got her hair done. She looks cute. Thank you. But I don't like her right now because she stole my sucker. Yeah, it fell in the car in between here. And she found it, rinsed it off, and now she's eating it. You heck of bougie. Look at this girl. Savannah. She's about to play a video I really game. Want one of those in my room. Easy. You want one in your room? Yes. Wouldn't you be bored? No. You pull up a chair and do it. Exactly. That's hecka lazy. Okay, so we're in Walmart and we're looking at movies and we're trying to find something to. Well, I'm trying to find I something. Reading that book in, in middle school. Fahrenheit 451. Burn all the books. Oh. Okay. If I buy anything, I will let you guys know. Tag. I want to see it too. Okay. You know we can never go anywhere without my kids acting up. It's not even straight. It's, it's not the purge. It's not the purge. <laughs> okay, you know what? Alright you guys, so it's much later and I did not end up getting any movies from Walmart. Didn't see anything that I really wanted right now. So we went to buy KFC, like a family um, chicken meal for um, the lady's family who just had the baby. And went to home goods i really didn't vlog a whole lot there and it was funny because i seen quite a few ray dunn mugs and plates and just stuff and i'm like oh this is cute and i was actually going to get a mug that said faith on it and i put it down because i was just like eh, it's weird i'm just like not into it anymore like i used to be i was obsessed remember you guys every other blog it was like ray dunn ray dunn ray dunn now it's like eh, i can live without it unless she comes out with something that's just like totally fantastic or whatever so i don't know and then next month i may change my mind i may t be totally into it again i don't know anyway so i'm just sitting here bored out of my mind uh, everyone's doing their own thing i'm just sitting here catching up on my youtube subscriptions and you guys i have had as you can tell because there's not been a vlog like a regular vlog for a while I have had no motivation to vlog and I really enjoy vlogging I don't know I've been like that for a while but now ever since I got back from vacation it's like I rarely pick up the camera and it's always with me because I never know when something's gonna happen or you know one of the kids does something kind of silly and I want to pull the camera out or whatever but I don't know I have not had no motivation I need to kick it into gear because I really do enjoy vlogging